Hello, I'm Emma from Cruise Addicted and I'd like to give you a tour of Island Princess. We sailed upon her in July 2023 and although she's one of the older vessels in the fleet, I must admit she became quite a favourite. Anyway, let's have a look around the ship. So let's start with our cabin. This is an ocean view stateroom on plaza deck. This particular one is P for Papa 611. So let's start with the storage in this cabin. Very standard princess cruises, cubby holes and an open closet, which I actually prefer an open closet rather than having to try and manoeuvre wardrobe doors, especially if it's by the bed. So made up as a double bed, we had desk side and um, bedside cabinets with lamps, and they did have USB ports on this cruise. There is also a reasonable size dressing table, television and fridge with the mini bar. And if you're elite members, the mini bar is included. So we just put lots of soft drink and our water in here to keep it cold. The dressing table has three drawers and there are three little shelf units to the side. The cabin has an older style hairdryer. It's actually not that bad. It was fairly powerful, but no directional nozzle. So it was a bit flyaway if you were trying to use it. Um, this cabin is equipped with American plug sockets. And as you can see, they're really quite close together. So using a British um, plug adapter for our appliances, it meant we could only use one at a time. There is one behind the television, but you will have to kind of go up behind the television to unplug the television if you need to use an extra plug socket. A fairly small uh, shower room with shower curtain and the standard toiletries provided. So um, like a hair and body wash, shower gel, hand soap and a moisturiser. Uh, we had to ask for larger towels as well because the bath towels were actually quite small we like a bath sheet so they were more than happy to bring extra bath sheets and also um, dressing gowns because there were no robes in the bedroom we just had to ask and the cabin steward bought them for us so that let's look around the rest of the ship let's start with the good spirits bar this is the cocktail bar situated on plaza deck in fact this is just opposite the guest services area Good Spirits Bar also doubles up as International Rescue, sorry, I mean International Cafe. Um, you can get a really good uh, cup of coffee here in the morning and there's also a cabinet with um, pastries, croissants, if you fancy a quick breakfast, a quick grab and go if you're heading ashore. There is no International Cafe on Island Princess, so head to the Good Spirits Bar and they have your coffees. We call it International Rescue because it always comes to the rescue when we need a coffee. This area of the atrium is uh, quite busy in the evening because you've got the Good Spirits Bar. It's really nice just to sit and have a, a late night drink with your friends that you've met on board ship. These uh, crystals that hang in these tubes make a really lovely effect when the ship is moving. If there's a gentle swell and the ship is slightly rolling and pitching, um, they swing and they look really pretty and they all sparkle. So it's a really nice feature. So this area is quite spacious. If you're having to queue at guest services, there's always enough area to stand. You're not interfering with the people that are sitting down having a coffee. There's not massive queues everywhere. So uh, Good Spirits does actually have its own seating area within the surround of Good Spirits, but then you've got this overflow area here as well. Good Spirits does demonstrations for cocktail making. So twice a day, uh, late afternoon, early evening, and then later into the evening, the mixologist will pop on a microphone and have a video screen doing demonstrations of making a selection of cocktails on a special menu. And I can highly recommend A Starry Night in Oslo. It's a black cocktail with gold dust and it sparkles like A Starry Night in Oslo.
So Island Princess is a smaller ship to, for example, the Sky Princess. So everything is on a smaller scale, easier to access. So on the Plaza Deck is one of the restaurants, the Bordeaux Dining Room. The restaurants on Island Princess are more situated in the centre section of the ship rather than at the aft. So it means that they're very close to guest services or the bars on the decks above. There are two main dining rooms, the Bordeaux and the Provence. So the atrium you'll also find in the evening, um, the house band just playing backing music and during sea days they will have activities here like an egg throw where you have to make a parachute for your egg or um, a paper airplane challenge where you stand on the upper decks and throw your paper airplane down and it has to go through a hoop so you can become, uh, you win the game by shooting it through a hoop. The champagne fountain and gala nights are always held around the atrium as well and also on the sea days there are competitions between the officers and the passengers so there's always things to, to see and it's quite a, a busy atrium area. So coming up a deck to deck six we have a selection of shops um, you've got clothes shops, souvenir shops, duty free, and then you have um, watch shops and perfume shops. Now, the shops on board Island Princess, I actually found them really good, slightly uh, more impressive than the ones on Sky Princess, to be honest. The selection of fashion actually was really quite nice, and the um, perfume selections, much um, much bigger choice on Island Princess. Maybe it's just because of the layout of the ship and the shop areas are a little bit bigger, um, but a really good selection of, of aftershaves and perfumes, toiletries and uh, watches. They also had guest uh, shops on board selling the Russian dolls and uh, amber jewellery. So they were more on display just outside the shops. But overall, I was really quite impressed with them. So above the Bordeaux dining room is the Provence dining room. So this is on deck six. Again, midship, very close to crooners, the wheelhouse bar. Um, so it's easy to have a pre-dinner drink or if you're meeting people after you've had your meal, then the bars are very close by. So FE jewellery is also on board if you fancy a luxury purchase like a Tanzanite ring or a diamond necklace and uh, very well situated actually right next door to the casino. So if you get lucky on the tables or manage to pull the jackpot on one of the fruit machines then you know where to come and spend your winnings. And here you'll find all the help you need if you're having an issue connecting with your medallion app or if you just need an accessory to hold your medallion, whether you want it on a bracelet, a wristwatch style or a necklace, you can buy all the accessories here. So here's a casino on board, um, lots of slot machines, a few tables it's not one of the biggest uh, ship casinos that I've seen but if you like to play on the tables or roulette have a go on the slot machines everything is here and they also do a deal or no deal game show in the theatre should you want to have a go at uh, something more audience participation kind of level There are photographers on board should you want to have some formal portraits done. If you need to buy a USB stick or just need some help with your camera, then there is a, a photographer's desk as well with the, a small shop. But next door is the Explorer's Lounge. So this is the area where you have the audience participation game show. If you're familiar with the Yes No game or the Mr and Mrs games, they tend to be done in here. Also, you'll find on um, certain times of the day, they do the trivia in here. So it's either in Explorer's Lounge or in the wheelhouse. So check on your daily planner for the location if you like a trivia. Um, also, from half past four to half past six, uh, a small area in the back corner becomes the elite lounge. So if you want to come and meet other elite passengers, there's also a um, cabinet with hot and cold snacks and uh, little nibbles if you like 
some crudities or um, some hot uh, chicken skewers, something like that, then you'll find them here if you're um, an elite member. I think Platinum and Elite get the opportunity to come here half past four to half past six. So if you're like me and want to know the position of the ship, just outside the gym is a television screen that gives you all the data that you'll need. It was interesting for us as we were crossing the Arctic Circle, so we wanted to know the latitude. So that's just outside the gym. As we go into the gym, you'll find a timetable of all the fitness schedule events for the week. So if you want to go to a particular class, um, my opinion, not one of the biggest gyms we've seen on board. And the one thing this gym lacks is daylight. There are no windows in this gym, but otherwise you can do the spin classes here. Uh, all the um, gym appliances are here. If you want the treadmills, uh, the weights, the rowing machines, you'll find everything here. So that's pretty much deck six. Uh, let's head upstairs to deck seven and uh, have a look around the other public areas. So Island Princess has two speciality restaurants, Sabatini's and this one is the Bayer Cafe. In the mornings and during the day, they sometimes hold Bible meetings here and say LGBTQ uh, meetups. Um, it's not really used during the daytime but in the in the evening time when it becomes a speciality restaurant there's some live music here. When we were here the menu was more southern flavours so you have say um, gumbo yaya prawns, it's steak, maybe jambalaya. The menu has changed since we've uh, left the ship but there is always a menu on display outside so come and have a look and see if it's for you. We didn't really ever have an issue getting a table here it wasn't overly busy so the menu change might affect that but come and have a look at the menu on the first day and then if it's for you get it get your booking in And then next door you have Sabatini's restaurant, which is the Italian restaurant on board Island Princess, similar to the ones on Enchanted Sky, Sabatini's does feature throughout the fleet of Princess Cruises. Again, there is a supplement to have an evening meal here, but during the day you might find on certain sea days that they offer Alfredo's pizzas here too. So there is an art gallery on board. They have art auctions throughout the sea days. Um, you can come and have a look and see if there's something you want to buy or bid for. This particular sailing, there seemed to be quite a bit of Disney inspired art. So it's always nice to come and have a look. So let's walk back through to the main atrium of the ship. And here you'll find um, a smoker's lounge. It's not obviously for everybody, but for this ship, it's actually on deck seven it's not tucked in a corner like you'll find on sky princess and it's actually quite a good size so if you are a smoker then you've got a nice view here and uh, a good size lounge but more so if you are a smoker maybe your traveling companions aren't you don't have to be that far away if you want to go and have a cigarette because it's directly opposite the crooners bar where they have uh, live music in the evening there's a guy playing the piano singing songs when we were on board nice place to get um an afternoon coffee, cup of tea or a cocktail if you want something a bit stronger during the day and at night lovely to come and grab a cocktail glass of wine after dinner here too. And as you can see the atrium is really the heart of the ship, everything kind of spurs off uh, different decks from the atrium. So my favourite bar is the wheelhouse bar, it's uh, a very nautical bar old artwork with Canberra, old pictures of various p ships in Sydney, lots of memorabilia and in fact there's two little kind of nook and cranny 
uh, lounges in here if you really want to sit somewhere quietly. Very spacious, lots of um, nautical features here. Dance floor, they have quizzes in here mornings and evenings and there's a band that plays in the evening too. So a really nice after dinner area to sit and have a drink pre-theatre or after theatre, come straight out into Wheelhouse Bar and get a nightcap. So heading forward, we'll find the theatre on deck seven. A nice sized theatre, lots of seating, no pillars to obscure any views. The only downside is there are only two stairwells either side so if you are in the middle and need to get out then you will have to disturb people to to get off the uh, the row of the seating and the stairwells are fairly narrow so if you do sit further forward when the, the shows have finished it will take you a little while to get out of the theatre. Island Princess actually has its own shows different from the ones that we've seen on Enchanted and Sky, so that was very nice. And they also brought a couple of comedians in. And because we were doing the Arctic Circle, we had a local dance and singing group from Norway come on and entertain us for an evening, which was really lovely. Deck seven is the promenade deck, where you can walk outside on the promenade. It doesn't go all the way around the ship. You do have to cut in across the back end of the ship, but nice to get some fresh air without being too blown around. Island Princess has a huge library, in my opinion, very big. Um, lots of things available here, not just books, but you can come and do jigsaw puzzles. There's lots of card tables um, in this area. So it's kind of split up into three sections. You can you, uh, there's books, there's board games, there's backgammon, there's chess. There's cupboards full of everything to use here, as well as a good selection of books or reference books for your ports of call. Just opposite the library is the shore excursion desk. There are tablets so you can view the tours or book your own tours if no one's on duty. Um, quite a spacious place again so you can go and get your reference books if you want to sit and study a particular port of call. Also the Future Cruise Centre is here so if you need to see a consultant and book another Princess Cruise then that's all available here. So you may have your medallion app set up on your mobile phone but if you need to use a computer if you're sorting out flights or your own arrangements then there is quite a good internet cafe here so you can come and get online and use a PC. Good size wedding chapel on Island Princess should you want to have a wedding ceremony or just renew your vows then this is actually quite a nice place to do so. Need to find your right way around the ship? Then these are really good interactive control panels on every deck, normally by where the lifts are. You can see where your ports of call are. And if you tap on the map, when it flashes, that's a place of interest. So it'll give you the information uh, in a postcard. If you want to find out more, then you know what you're looking for. The Horizon Court is the buffet on Island Princess and this buffet is actually situated forward of the ship so you can sit and see where you're going, look at the view ahead of you while you have your breakfast, lunch or if you fancy buffet for your evening meal then this is a really nice location. Both sides are laid out exactly the same so whether you want salads uh, hot meals if you want something hot for lunch or a bowl of soup, just cold meat. It's the same both sides. If you have one of the princess 
plus packages and you have fruit juices included this is where you'll find the Mon Island Princess so you can come and get your juices but don't forget you can have freshly squeezed orange juice at breakfast you just need to ask your waiter and they will find that for you So this area is kind of like a your international cafe as well. So if you want a sweet treat or just some cookies to have with your cup of tea, then this is a section uh, at the forward of the, the ship in the buffet. Heading out to the Lido pool, you'll find if you fancy a slice of pizza, this is where they're making fresh pizza during the day. There's normally a choice of two or three. We have a bar next door, so if you want to grab a shandy, a cold drink, even a cocktail, you can uh, grab that here. Great for watching the concerts if you want to watch movies under the stars, then they put an extra padded cushion onto the seats. You have a blanket, you can have a couple of beers, watch movies under the stars. Quite good spacing around the swimming pool here so uh, we never really had an issue getting a sunbed and the jacuzzis were you know, pretty much available as well yes we were doing an arctic circle cruise but we had really good weather 23 25 degrees but coming outside getting a sunbed was not normally an issue Island Princess also has a covered pool, so if the weather's not so great and you want to have a swim, then the covered pool here is really lovely. Also, you get two of these delicious chocolate ice cream sundaes included if you have one of the Princess Plus packages. Not that I could eat two a day, but you can actually have two a day should you want to. They're by the covered pool at the Swirls ice cream desk. So again, here's your covered swimming pool. Really nice if you want to do an early swim and it's a bit chilly outside. A couple of jacuzzis. Also, it's right next door to the spa. So if you want to use the spa and then come out and have a swim or use the jacuzzi, absolutely perfect. If you fancy a round of table tennis, then the covered pool, it, it's not going to get blown about so you can actually have a proper game of table tennis too. We actually found the outside deck space on Island Princess to be fairly wide. So if you were sitting with some beds, enjoying the day you could actually walk past people without trying to maneuver your way through so i thought this was quite good space up here if you're familiar with the retreat that princess cruises offers then you'll find this at the aft of the ship so it has the wake views which is the one thing i really miss seeing because i like to watch the wake but if you want to pay for half a day or a whole day then the retreat is a really lovely area uh, some beds as you can see, quite luxury sunbeds. There are ca um, ca cabanas if you want to be more private. There's also a couple's massage pod here. Um, so you can have a treatment up here should you want to have a full day in the retreat. They, they'll bring you food. You can have lunch or um, afternoon tea up here as well. So this is the cabana areas and the, and the retreat from above. They get the, the wake view here. But if you fancy, it's a really nice area. So there's a centre court on board if you want to come and shoot some basketball hoops, have a bit of a run around with the football, then you've got that up here on centre court. Probably about the only other place if you want to see the wake view um, that you can, you can get that option without having to pay to go in the retreat. So um, here are the nets, you can you know, play ball up here, I think they call it pickleball, um, or you can do basketball, but outside of the, the nets there you can watch the wake view too.
and as you can see what I mean the deck space is fairly wide up here and you can see the size of the sun loungers so yeah it's quite nice space up here Here is the grill. If you fancy a chicken sandwich, hot chicken sandwich, beef burger, hot dog, some uh, dirty fries with cheese and bacon on top during the day, then you come up to the grill here and you can sit by the side of the pool and have a, a hot lunch there. So just the two swimming pools on Island Princess, the one at the Lido and the covered pool. Another bar too, um, opposite tie to where the grill snack bar is, so you can grab something to eat and a drink, all in the same location. So, walking towards the forward end of the ship, we're now just above where the buffet is, but if we go up to the splash pool, there is an, on the sun deck, um, a small splash pool, Perfect if you have toddlers, um, young kiddies that want to play in the water if it's a hot day, but you don't want them in the main swimming pool, then you can bring them up to the splash pool. So this is right above the buffet now. Those are the windows. You can look down, you could see the buffet area inside. There are two stairwells that actually come from the forward end of the buffet straight up to this deck. So if you want to come outside and see something particular, then you can easily access that from the buffet downstairs. So next to the indoor swimming pool, we have the Lotus Spa. There are treatment rooms here. There's also a nice couples treatment room should you want to do something together. There is, in my opinion, quite a big uh, salon, hair salon. Um, also, you can have um, makeup done here if you want to have manicures and pedicures. That's all available in this section too. So I actually thought this was quite a big space for a hair salon on a ship, but all situated within the, the Lotus Spa. Check out the daily planner because there's normally some special offers for the spa. Always on embarkation day as well, there'll be some um, offers floating around. So it's always worth seeing what's available. But a really nice um, relaxation area. This is the thermal suite, the hot beds, the sauna, the steam room. So a really nice relaxing area. Here we have the couple's treatment room, a bath for two people and there are twin um, massage or treatment beds should you want to come and have massage facial there's also a shower a private shower in this uh, treatment suite as well so a really nice location if you want to have something special for the two of you there are the standard kids clubs on princess cruises um, we had kids on board so i couldn't access them but all ages covered on board should you want to do your own laundry, um, laundrettes are situated on pretty much every deck where there are cabins. Uh, you use your medallion, you buy a couple of tokens, a wash and a dry, you can get your own detergents. We, we tend to take our own. If you just want to iron your shirts because they're creased, then the laundrettes are always accessible from 7.30 in the morning, 8 o'clock in the morning till about 10 o'clock at night. So we were lucky enough to be offered a galley tour on board the ship, the heart of the, the dining experiences that you'll receive on board. Um, this is just the gallery of what the food should look like when it's plated, but there is a huge team below decks preparing all your food from breakfast, lunch, dinner, evening snacks, room service, um, constantly working. And look, there's escalators, who knew? So there we go, there's my tour of Island Princess. When we booked this, we just thought, oh well, an older ship, you know, maybe she'll be a little bit dated. But I must admit, after our last sailing on board her round the Arctic Circle, we've had probably one of the best cruises that we've ever had. And we love Island Princess. What a super ship. So if it's an old one, don't dismiss it. It might just turn out to be one of your favourites. Anyway, this is Emma, Cruise Addicted. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Bye for now.